We're glad you're here. We get a lot of questions about orchid care. Yes. Can you help us out, please, sir? Yes. All right. I will. Okay. Today, I want to talk about growing on grocery store orchids, okay. Okay. which a lot of people buy and um, they soon kill them after they, <laughs> if they bought them and they come to me and they ask, why right. is it dead? Right. Okay. So I'm going to talk about how to care for this orchid okay. after purchase. Okay. Okay. And actually while it's still flowering as well. So orchids like these mostly grow on trees in the tropics. Okay. Okay. Or on rocks. They store water in pseudobulbs like these yeah. or in fleshy leaves like these. Okay. When it rains in the tropics, which is a daily event, okay. the roots of the orchid are like a sponge and they absorb moisture. The moisture is then maintained there and then it's transferred into the, to the storage organs on the orchid, like the leaves or the pseudobulbs. Okay. So after it rains, the um, habitat dries out quickly and then the plant waits for the next rainfall. Okay, so each day the roots are wanting to dry out. Um, so if we look at this orchid here, for example, this is a chylochysta orchid. It's totally leafless. Oh, it wow. has only roots and it stores all the water in its roots. How about that? If we look at this Angracum orchid from Madagascar, it has big, heavy roots. Again, the same. Um, um, adaptation, storing the water in, the, in these roots after rainfall and drying out during, during the day. So, having said that, orchids are kind of a bit like cacti if you think about it, okay? They store water, store, okay. okay? They don't want to be sitting in water. So, when you purchase this orchid from your local grocery store, it comes and it's sitting in this ceramic pot usually. Aha, look at that. No holes in the no bottom. <laughs> and it is potted in sphagnum moss, which retains a ton of water. Okay. Okay. So this is fine. If you let this dry out between waterings, okay, so if you stick your finger down in there and it's dry, it's time to water it again. Okay. okay. So when it's flowering, it's okay to leave the plant in this medium and in this container, making sure you don't leave a lot of water in that and the ceramic container. All right. But what people often do is they overwater mm -hmm. these, okay? Mm -hmm. And what that does is it causes these nice roots to rot, mm. okay? And the crown of the plant rots as well. And then the leaves start to droop, okay? And people think yeah. it's run out of water. It okay? needs more it needs water. Needs water yeah. It needs more water. Mm. But so what's really happened here is that the roots have rotted off and the crown's rotted, so the plant can't actually take up any more water because sure. its roots are gone, okay? Once it reaches that stage, it's finished. Okay. Yeah. Okay? So what we want to do then is after the plant flowers, okay, is to remove it from this medium and put it in something that will drain much better okay. and be easier to water so you're not going to overwater it. So what I would do, and I'll just demonstrate here what we're going to, we're going to do, hopefully, is get the plant. Oh, there you go. There we go. All right, all right. And they come in, the, it's in a, um, just a cheap plastic pot that they, mass produce oh, yeah. these plants in. And there's the, the roots, and there's they're the nice roots. and pliable yeah. when they're wet, okay? Mm -hmm. So orchid roots are stiff when they're dry. You can see that, you can break that, it crunches. Yeah, it sure do, okay. These roots are nice and pliable, so you wanna make sure that this medium is nice and wet before you try and repot it, okay? Because the roots will become nice and pliable once you have uh, done that. So I just remove all this sphagnum. So if you break some of those roots, is that okay? Yeah. Okay, that's fine, okay. Yeah, it's okay. But you probably won't break very many okay. um, when they're moist. But make sure you, any orchid, make sure you soak it 
before you go to transplant it because okay. it'll make the roots very pliable and then you can position them in the pot um, afterward. Oh, good tidbit. Okay. So I'm just removing everything in here. These plants are mass grown and usually in Florida and Taiwan and um, they grow them all at the same stage, so they know how to water them in a mass greenhouse. They water them every third day or something. Okay. They monitor the moisture very carefully, so they can grow them like this. Um, but again, our, our tendency for us is to overwater them, <laughs> and uh, that leads to the death of the plant. Especially if you have a greenhouse, if you're growing these in a greenhouse where water gets everywhere, it's mm -hmm. very hard to keep something dry you know, when the pot next to it's just been watered. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. So that's that's the other problem. So there, I've I've removed. Wow, you did a good job with that. Yeah, we've that? removed all that sphagnum, and there you can see the healthy root nice system. Roots. So it's nice and green. The root tips are nice and green. Okay. okay so healthy roots. You don't want to see. If you see brown roots, that means they're dead, okay? And you can right. remove those as well, but these are all nice and healthy. So what you wanna see with an orchid is nice, healthy roots. And you also generally wanna repot orchids when the roots are growing, like in the springtime is the best time to repot okay. orchids. So I've got that out of the way. Now we can um, go ahead and pot it. And I, I prefer clay pots for a couple reasons. One reason is that the pot breathes easier, so you mm. get lots of air exchange and it'll dry out. Once it's been watered, it'll dry out quickly. These orchid pots are especially made with slots in them mm. so that the water will run out. So you can buy these at your local home improvement store. Um, and uh, so they're fairly easy to obtain. If you don't have the orchid pot, you can just use a regular clay pot. So I, I'm, I'm, I just prefer clay. Some people like plastic, but I prefer clay because it dries out. The other thing with clay is it's heavy, <laughs> okay? And it's not as easy to tip over, over. Okay. okay? When you have a plant that's in a plastic pot, it's easy to tip right. over, especially in a greenhouse. So the clay, gives it that stability that it needs. So then I, I go ahead and I put an extra drainage in the bottom of the pot. I put this, um, these pot shards, which are broken up clay pots. So when you break a clay pot, you just save the pieces, or you can use um, styrofoam pellets, some people like to use. Okay. Um, anything to provide additional drainage, charcoal, is another thing you can put in the bottom. So I just put that in there for extra drainage, plus it gives the pot extra weight. Okay. Okay, so the pot is now stay. nice okay. and a heavy. Right. Okay. Then potting, um, I'm going to use orchid bark, okay, which is available again at your local home improvement store. Okay. It's available online. It's um, fir or pine bark, and it will, it's well, it's well drained, it's pH balanced, it will last two or three years, wow. okay? So about, about every two or three years you have to repot the orchid, but it lasts quite a good long time. It okay, is. So okay. you can buy that in bags at um, your local home improvement store pretty easily or online. So then I, it's a simple matter of taking the orchid and positioning it in the pot and getting the all the roots down in there. Okay, and then pouring the bark in around okay. here. Maybe I'll just some take, in there. take some and take it by hand and put it in there. So the bark will sift down and around the the plant. And you want to make sure you keep the crown of the plant above the soil level, okay, okay, so it doesn't rot. Okay, so that's the other thing here that you that you want to do. Oh, there you go. Yeah. You've done so, it a couple of times. Well, I've huh? done this a few times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you get all that nice bark in there, push it down in, nice and firm. A few more pieces there. Okay, that, and then 
Okay, so there it's positioned nicely in there. The stake can be repositioned. So we keep a stake, right? Yeah, we, keep, okay. we can keep the right. stake, yeah. You may have to readjust it a little bit. Um, the other thing you can use to keep this plant stable while it's um, uh, becoming accustomed to the new pot and growing into the medium is to put um, one of these in there, which is a rhizome um, stake. Hmm. Okay, so this rhizome stake um, clips on the edge of the pot, but you put it near around the base of the plant oh, and just push it down in. Well, huh. Okay, let me turn oh. this plant around this way. So I push that in there, and that will help the plant stay right. in right. in uh, position while it uh, begins to take to the to the new pot. Then you can remove the rhizome wow. stake okay. um, later on. Then it's ready for watering. Then you just water it, and um, then this, if it's you know in the summertime, if you've got it outside under shade. You could water it every day, um, and you won't worry. It won't worry about it. Okay. In the winter, if you bring it inside and grow it under lights or on a windowsill, you can water it every few days. Good okay. deal. And you're not going to worry about having that rot. Well, Doc, we're glad you're here. That was some good information. What do you think Very about that? Good. Good, good information. Learn more about orchids. So thank you much. Okay. Well, glad to do it any time. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please click the subscribe button below.